But there's not tremendous fear of that happening because the federal judiciary, left, right, and center, have hated the federal guidelines and have uniformly, left, right, and center, considered them too harsh, uh, especially in, um, in drug cases. So that you have judges like Judge Paul Cassell, who would be very comfortable over at the Federalist Society and is often there, um, writing impassioned um, uh, decisions from the bench decrying the sentences that he's been required to impose uh, under the guidelines and under mandatory minimums. So the question that remains, of course, post Rita is when a federal judge doesn't give a guideline sentence but gives a sentence that is not what the guidelines would call uh, upon that judge to do, what's the appellate court supposed to do in deciding whether it's reasonable for the judge to do that so the two cases on Tuesday involve two different aspects of this reasonableness review of sentences that depart from the guidelines.